<laughs> Capstone for the OTD program is your last song, the note you're going out on. It's completely your own. It's everything that you want to do, something that you're passionate about, and just making a project out of it, carrying it out for 14 weeks, and then we do present it, and we get graded on it, and then eventually we end up with our doctorate degree. So, <laughs> my capstone project was actually coming here to the Arizona campus, because this is our new kind of startup, and it was going to be me working with the students and creating special interest groups, um, but through just kind of networking and talking to different people, I decided it would be a really great opportunity to um, collaborate between the DMA and the OTD students. So that's kind of where all of this got started. I'm Chloe Evans. I'm a film student here. I'm a junior. I'm Matthew Smalls Molinex. I'm also a junior film student here. So on our most recent shoot uh, called Hindsight, I was the director. And I was producer, so I was responsible for pretty much just the logistical side of things. Shooting a film in general is, is a very tough task. We shot Hindsight in three days. Most of the days were around 14 hours, so we would get to set around like 8 a.m. and then a couple of times we went all the way to 12 a.m. They're, they're long days, um, especially in Arizona. You're in the heat and then you tack on the extra COVID protocols that you have with delivering food that is individually packaged so it's safe and making sure that you maintain bubbles so that you minimize the spread if something were to happen. Um, and it just, it adds a whole other element to the, the stressful working environment that you can experience on the set. It just so happened that the junior film team needed someone to act as their health and safety manager and what better people to do it than the health professionals that are here in this building already. I think my experiences getting into the role of an HSM kind of snowballed off of your groundwork mm -hmm. um, because it's not a requirement for my project to collaborate with the DMA program. I have nothing to do with them um, <laughs> project-wise. Um, and so whenever they asked her to be it, there were other students who were like, oh, hey, we need one of those too. And I was like, yeah, sure. So we had Natalie, she was our health safety manager, and she basically was one who, we had this list of like COVID guidelines that we're supposed to follow. We um, were in charge of getting the food, um, kind of managing all the snacks. We were um, like contact control. So uh, people weren't sticking their hands in the same cooler or sticking their hands in the same chip box or something like that. Um, we made sure everyone had masks and gloves and were properly distanced if they needed to be and took temperatures of everyone who was on set. We were solely responsible for going and getting the food and bringing it back. So we all had food and water, making sure that we all stayed hydrated and because on film sets, film students are the worst at taking care of themselves. So we need someone there who kind of just like, hey, drink water, or eat and like making sure that that we're just safe. And then I think maybe an unspoken role just because of our background in first aid, which is making sure everyone was staying safe and no one was getting injured. And especially at the set that I was on, there were a lot of fight scenes and it made me a little <laughs> nervous, but everyone made it through and no one got injured, so. It is, it is really something special to have a watchful eye, like a guardian on set, um, aside from just the producer. Because the producer's looking at taking care of your, uh, owners of your establishment that you're shooting at, taking, making sure that everybody is being safe, then you have to make sure that uh, you're staying on schedule, the dollars that you spent on the production are actually getting put to use the way they should be. So there's, there's a lot of pressure there and having some of that just split off onto, um, onto that and bringing another team player on board is very helpful. Um, another thing that was kind of cool for us is that we could look at the body mechanics of these students. So bringing in our OT background and just making sure that they were being safe physically as well. So it kind of gave us a little bit of a taste of what we may do in the future. I think so. that's always also a really good um, area that future OTD students could bring their own capstone project into and really connect the DMA and the OTD programs and really look at the body mechanics and ergonomics and making sure that um, your film students aren't injuring themselves carrying a heavy load or um, being able to make recommendations on postures and things like that. So it was very interesting. I ran into this guy, Damon, who 
told me that he films commercials for cars and whatnot, and I was like, wow, what a dream. I would love to be on TV, get my face out there, and he was like, seriously, and I was like, Wait, are you serious? <laughs> yeah, so I think it was probably like first or second week, Damon was shooting a skit by our offices and we just didn't leave. <laughs> we just kind of stayed and watched it all. So when I first met Natalie, it was funny because I was doing a shoot for my dad and they kind of just started watching us and watching everything that we do and just was very interested in how film works. And he was like, oh yeah, come in and watch this. And we're like, wait, really? And he was like, you really want to watch this? Like, yeah. And we were so excited and so thrilled. And we're like, if you ever need anyone. And then I didn't think he was going to take that seriously. And two weeks yeah. later, he was like, hey, I'm shooting a car commercial if you guys want to be in it. And I think it's funny because originally I was like, I'll do whatever you want if you don't give me lines. Yes. And so the car commercial was a great intro <laughs> because we didn't have lines. Yeah. We just kind of like walked around, there was no audio. And then like it wasn't a couple weeks later and he was like, hey, so I'm doing this skit. You guys have one line and we're going to lip sync to a yeah. song. And I'm like, okay, sure. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. She's got a smile that it seems to me reminds me of childhood memories where everything was as fresh as a bright blue sky. All right, Kat, you're regional manager. I'm counting on you. Here we go. She's got eyes of the bluest skies as if they thought of rain. And now we are paid actresses. We yeah. are now, we can now say we're professional. Yes. <laughs> Who are you guys anyways? Um, we work with Derek at Signs and Stuff. We're in the band. You never know what opportunities are gonna pass you by if you don't say yes, so you might as well. I think that my biggest piece of advice, you just have to network. You have to put your foot in the door, you have to meet people and talk to them because you never know what opportunity might come about. And also following up. Following up is huge, so be that person, follow up with them, and something will come out of it. I think us being capstone students, we are not at the same stress level as the beginning um, OTD students. They are a lot more stressed than we are, and I get that. We were there before, um, but I think that held them back from being able to collaborate. Your first semester, you, you're thinking, I don't want to add anything else to my plate, but it's it's not, a, it's not a big commitment, it's not a grade, it's not scary. I had absolutely no idea that I was going to even add a collaboration with the DMA program into my project and it's led me to so many different things and I met so many people through it. I mean, start by saying hi in the hallways when you pass and it'll just build from there. Yeah. <laughs>